Hello. Remember me? This is Dean Satabam of Top Gear Philippines. You don't see me in videos too often lately because uh, I've been busy um, having lunch with car executives, doing some overseas trips, attending events, you know, the hard stuff. But when BMW Philippines offered me the i4, I was intrigued. BMW, in the, in the thesaurus when you put sports sedan, BMW comes out. So I had to find out if the DNA lives on when they electrified it. Does it feel like a BMW? Does it smell like a BMW? Does it drive like one, handle like one? Let's take a journey and uh, see if the i4 is every bit the BMW promised it to be. How does the BMW i4 drive? As expected of an electric car, it's crazy fast, even in something this wide and chunky. Speed is instantaneous. So much power. 400 Newton meters, 286 horsepower. The power delivery is kind of ludicrous. It's tuned a little softly. You can feel the car move when the when the road changes abruptly, or if there's a speed speed hump that you take a little too fast, you can feel the the car going down quickly. Personally, I like the power. I can enjoy the handling. It still feels precise. It doesn't quite feel like a, my favorite BMWs, 3 Series mostly. Will it become one of my favorite BMWs? I don't think so. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because those ICE cars have been refined over decades. This it's one of the early products. It's only now that BMW started making EVs out of its regular lineup. I don't think the i4 will land in you know, my top BMWs. Not even the top 10, but it's a start. There's something, something started with this. The sports sedan is a hallowed category for BMW. And by electrifying the sports sedan and Coming up with the i4, BMW has started on a path that could lead the i4 to future glory, future iconic status. And knowing BMW, they won't stop until they get it right. And there is so much right. There's so much to like about the i4. It's powerful, it's comfortable, there's no much in front. It's safe, it's stylish. And these screens, these infotainment screens, digital gauge cluster, infotainment. I mean, it's so crisp and clear. The car play is so massive. You can see other towns from here. So we're inside the i4 and uh, it's a BMW. Great seats, this nice burgundy, they call it Sensatec. Seats, I don't think they're leather. <laughs> Maybe some uh, vegan or leather substitute, which I don't mind. They feel like leather. What I do mind is they don't smell like leather. And speaking of smell, I'm looking for the BMW smell. It's, it's wonderful, actually. The risk of sounding addicted. Um, it's not here. I don't, I don't, I don't smell it. Um, but other than that, everything is as you'd expect. Um, slow moving compartments, a solid close, nothing gives. The build quality is good. And if you know how to operate one BMW, you'll probably learn how to operate all of them. And that's not a criticism. I mean, the, there's a consistency in their ergonomics that I like, and so should everyone. Little things like um, the steering wheel, you can figure out the plus and minus, and which adjust the volume, change the track, start, stop, you can see it labeled, forward and back for the, this is the little switch knob for, there's no gears, but 
you know, dry, reverse and drive. Of course, the screen kind of dominates the interior. BMW calls this a widescreen display. Um, we didn't see measurements in the spec sheet, but it's big. And it's pretty. The It looks OLED. The colors are very nice. The, you can't see the pixels. The, the software is good. This is BMW's version 8 of their software. And I like the little things, like how when you're, when you're showing your ways here, it'll show you the album art of your, what song you're playing and the remaining time. I like seeing the remaining time of my music and podcasts. I don't know if that's useful to you, but I like that extra bit of info for some reason. Can't quite articulate, but those little quirks I like that they, they, they give you that information and those little things enhance the overall driving experience. That makes it very much a BMW. Do not move away from CarPlay, <laughs> guys. So, And because of CarPlay, I don't really use the iDrive so much. It's kind of irrelevant. I mean, it's nice, but you just touch this beautiful screen, this beautiful, responsive screen. It, if it were any smoother, it'd be an iPad. Steering wheel, lovely as always. Thumb hooks, leather feel, good quality. You can see the nice stitching. It, it's a sedan, so uh, you feel the effort getting in with these old knees. A little bit of effort, but once you plop yourself down, um, and I do plop, it's comfy. Space is enough, more than enough, and it, it holds you. These, you see these thick bolsters? They hold you when maneuvering and when the eye for dust it's spectacular acceleration. It holds you. It's supportive. And we all like support. I like how you can rest your knee on the side and your foot just shifts between the brakes and the... Do we still call it the gas pedal when there's no gas? But we'll figure that out. Accelerator, okay? I like the cabin. I like the space, the everything. If it had the smell, it would be perfect. But. That's the cabin for you. We're inside the back seat, and um, if I were an executive, I would choose something else. It's, I mean, I fit. I can sit, and it's not painful, but the, the seat height leaves a bit much to be desired. Well, my knees aren't touching. This, this, is, this seat is set to my height, so kudos to that. My knees aren't touching the back of the seat, but it's a little small. It's the seat that the seat height is the problem. We suspect batteries kind of limited it. My head brushes against the top, but I'm gonna be hard to sleep in this. Wait. Okay, I can sleep in it. There's a center console. For someone my size, short trips, you'll be fine. Smaller people will be even finer. So I guess this is one of the limitations of the i4. Rear AC controls is a nice thing. Two USB-C ports. That's the rear seat. <laughs> so I know I said sports sedan earlier, but strictly speaking, it's not a sedan. It's kind of a lift back thing. As you can see, there's no trunk, but it's kind of roomy. This is a bit high, the floor, but overall, you can still put your big storage, your bags. It's adequate, more than adequate. And it closes fast. Relatively. The question you should ask yourself is, how do you find the grill? We can't help it, it's there, it's big, it's two round things. And um, personally, it grew on me. I know Charles doesn't like it, but Maartian. I like the i4 in its totality, the aesthetic, and the, even if the grid is part of that. So basically, it's, it, it grew on me. The wheels, I, I feel they could do better, but it's not ugly, and you can always change it, right? Find some aftermarket wheels that, ma that match the blue lining, 
that will look great. Overall, I have no problem with the design. It's a daily car, so these things match its purpose. And I like it when I see it. It's, it's pleasing. People keep staring at it. I didn't expect that. So overall, it's okay with me. So pros and cons. Pros, I like the design. Even with the grey that grew on me, I like looking at it with its chunky body, wide stance, big tires. It's, it's very presentable, which is kind of my way of saying I kind of like it. I don't love it. It's not like when you see a BMW you really like, but it looks good. The power is uh, a pro, I think. You don't get to use it all the time. Shouldn't. This much power in the hands of one person all the time. Oh my God. Imagine all the SUA cases. I like the technology, the screens. I like the sound system. 12 speakers, BMW's own hi-fi. I like the seat bolsters, how they hug my body. I like the, this little place where you can rest your knee. What I don't like, I don't like the rear seat, the, su the suspension could be firmed up a bit. I wish it had better, maybe slightly sportier tires. Better looking mag sana, but the wheels aren't bad. That's about it for cons. Overall score, I'd give it an 8. Give it a generation or two. And we're gonna have i vehicles that will make it to her top 10 BM BMWs. That's something to look forward to. Until the next one, stay safe and thanks for watching.